Hello everyone, I am Asif Ali and you are watching CJAO video and today I have created this stylized fire in Unreal Engine Niagara. So let's check it out how I created this. First of all subscribe my youtube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So today I have created this stylized or you can say tune fire in Niagara and this is a campfire so and also this light effect here you can see. So start this tutorial. So this is very simple effect and very simple materials for this. So I have this effect here. You can see I have these these emitters, and this is actually the main part of this tutorial is the material, and then I just put the material here so it works like this. So what happening in this material? I'm using this material where I am using this noise texture. So I will just show you this uh, material again how I created this. So start this. So I will create a material here call this fire tooth 01 and what is happening here? I'll take this planer and I'll take a texture coordinate and I need a mask from this so I need a one channel a gradient from this so I'll take a mask component mask and I will take green so it's up and down gradient so I have this so what I will do uh, first I will create an instance of this so I can show you the values of this how it will work. So now nothing is here because I didn't save the material and I didn't connect anything. So I will just connect it here like this and save so it will look like this a gradient here same. So what I will do now I will add some value in this so I can adjust the erode part of this so I'll just make a parameter and call it add then I'll use a power this is also to just control your fire I again control uh, I will again create a parameter call it power so I have two parameters here now I will save it so now if I increase the amount in this you can see what is happening add is just panning the gradient and the power is fading the edge so this is the edge of black and white so power is fading and stretching them and the add is moving so if i connect a clamp here because my power is my color is overpowering the white color so it will now just limit the value from 0 to 1 now you can see my add is panning and my power is making it sharp or making it blur so if i make it sharp you can see this is still panning so these two parameter is just for this now what I will do, I will take a texture here, a noise texture that I have is this. I will use this because this is tonish and I created it in Photoshop with cloud uh, filter and some more filters to make this feel. And here I will add this texture over this connect it here and save it again so now if I make it like this 
this look like this now what I can do I can make it masked and unlit and I will connect this value in my opacity and I will use a white color in emissive so I will take a 3 vector make it white connect it to emissive save so now you can see this is eroding like this and this is making sharp or fade and now what I will do I will pan this so I will take a panner coordinate and save so this texture is panning and now I can decide how much gradient I want so this works like this you can see this is going up and here I can adjust the tiling of noise so I can put a multiply here make one more tile parameter save it so now because this is 0 so I will make it by default 1 and this work like this so I can now adjust the pattern of fire see so this works like this now what I want because this is making a square shape I want a round shape so I can take a radial exponent gradient exponent and this looks like this so what I will do I will subtract from this value subtract from this overall effect I will subtract this radial and connect it here stop so it will subtract like this because the white part is here so I will just reverse it by 1 minus So it's now round but I want if I this is round I want hemisphere hemicircle so this should be uh, like half cut circle so for that I will take a texture coordinate here make it 0.5 or 0.5 on V make it 1 it looks like like this now. Now it's cutting this. And save it. So you can see this now. This looks nice. So now what you can do more. You can take this. And just multiply this with your texture and make it tile texture and one more parameter here texture value save so now 
tile texture should be 1 and texture value like this or you can increase this so it will look like this and now texture tile can increase this or decrease this value so this is the effect that I created in material so I hope this is clear so the parameters I created here that I am controlling in my instance in my actual material in my actual material the parameters I have connected with the dynamic parameter tile erode speed so I can control this all the functions here these function in my particles so now the particle here is my particle so first is flame 1 I just put distortion down so first is my flame 1 so if I isolate it here you can see so what is happening in this I am using the same material and spawning 30 particles with random life with random size uh, actually this is not size this is random tile uh, random size is here sprite size is random and this random tile variable I am using for dynamic parameter so in here dynamic parameter first first parameter is tile and this is connected with random tile so I am using the random tile here in this variable so here is 0.5 and 5 and 1 then cylinder location is a cylindrical location and color from yellow to red then black so they are dark when they are dying then gravity on x-axis they are facing a bit in x-axis then sprite scale by speed so they are scaling uh, with the speed so higher the speed higher they are scaling this is multiplying then dynamic parameter so first was ethyl then second is erode so the value is eroding this and I forgot to show you how I erode it so in my this material and this was my instance this was my fire so how can I erode this so what I can do here this is this was my texture so I can take uh, power here and one more parameter call it erode so anything that is connecting in my opacity I can just erode it through my power so the power is now zero you can see this is eroding this is full and then this eroding got it so now I'm using this erode with this so they are going upside and they are eroding then speed speed is also random and that's it so this was my first emitter and all three flames are same just uh, uh, some differences like in this one the spawn rate is low this is just 5 and the size is higher that's it in third one the spawn rate is low but size is also very small and the life is high so in this life is three so they are going up then sparks so this is basic sparks and this spark is also connected the lights so for this I am using this emitter I have this sprite I have this radial ramp then lights is connected here 20 radius spawning 50 particles velocity on Z axis then cylinder location and acceleration force is zero color is bright yellow then red curl noise for random movement drag and gravity on x-axis and sprites are also scaling with my speed 
they are stretching and the last thing is distortion so you can see this heat distortion here so for this uh, I duplicate my spark and change the texture and size so in this I am using this material distortion material a normal map that is panning so this creating this and the size of particles are different in this one so size is 500 so that's making this distortion and one more thing if I'll show you this spark sparks has light but if I turn off my spark there is still some light if I turn off all it's still some light and that making this cool looking light here so what is this here so I have this this point light and if I increase the or decrease the value you can see and in this point light if I move it this is animating because I have a light function here it's just a texture that is panning and making this bright and dark and bright and dark so in my point light I am using this light function here so this light is animating and making this effect here so that's it so I'll just turn on my emitters so this is my whole effect and it looks nice so you can easily create this type of stylized fire and I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you have any queries just comment below the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep learning thank you